as uh, rightly mentioned uh, by uh, Sijin, my topic is career opportunities with Red Hat technologies. That's what, so what is Red Hat? You might have heard about this as a software company and you might have heard about what is Red Hat. Red Hat is a world leader open, open source enterprise IT solutions company for so many technology terms. So we are the world leader open source. So we are an open source company. And next, we are also an enterprise company. That means we don't encourage or develop software for desktops. So we work in the enterprise environment. So more than 90% of the Fortune 500 companies uses Red Hat products and solutions. Like Dr. Mendes mentioned, even during recession period, not only the one recession that you are seeing in 2023, even it could be during the COVID period, or in the past during 2008 when we had a recession or 2013 when we had a recession every time red hat technologies were have, was having a lot of demand and red hat technology especially from india yes huge demand because because primarily it is because the world is moving towards open source world is moving towards the technology which is on the cloud so we are the first and the topmost technology company in the world who drives who drives the industry, who drives the industry in the cloud environment. So what is needed for you to get to there? This is a career opportunity for you. So it's very important for you to understand. And in terms of our employment, we are around 23,000 plus people in India operating out of 36 different countries. And we operate out of 90 offices. Maybe in India, we have about four offices and so on. So this is a Red Hat company. Red Hat is an open source enterprise IT solutions company. Okay. Once upon a time, Red Hat was a community company. What is community? It's a group of people contributing to the benefit of the world is nothing but a community. So open source was a community. So from that open source, from the group of community, we became an enterprise company today where we have products like Enterprise Linux, Enterprise Red Hat Virtualization, Middleware, Data Services, Satellite, OpenStack, OpenShift, Enterprise Linux, which is nothing but the core OS, and then Ansible Automation as a platform. Of course, we also have CentOS and OpenStack, but CentOS has become legacy now. Concurrently, we are working with more than 1 million projects, 1 million projects across the world. You may be surprised. Maybe you people might have not even come across what is Red Hat in your careers. Yes, because you are not in the IT industry as yet. You may be still in the college. That's the reason. The moment you enter the IT industry, open source. What is open source? Where the source code of any software is open to public. They can modify, they can make changes to it as per the requirement. And all these are built from the community. But today, this company is called as an enterprise company, no more a community company. Okay, <clears throat> so we offer services starting from open innovation labs, where the community involves and does a lot of development for us. We also have support services, and then followed by consulting and training and certification. So if a company wants to use the software free of cost, they don't want to invest. Yes, it is possible, but we don't support them. But if they if they feel that, yes, I need support because I'm, I'm a bank or I am a mission critical service company, then obviously they can buy subscriptions. We don't sell software. We sell subscriptions. For every solution, every technology, we have a subscription model. Just like, for example, uh, you want to uh, watch television. Tata Sky provides subscription to you. They pay, they take the payment for one year, 365 days, and then they keep servicing. If you need additional channels, you'll have to pay more. If you need more additional channels, you'll have to pay more. In the same way, the, the tools that are available from Red Hat, it could be developer tools, it could be different applications, and security management, starting from the cloud infrastructure, from the bottom. Everything is offered in the form of a, a consulting service in the form of a training and certification or in the form of support services. This is how the total Red Hat services forms the total platform for any organization. Now you might have heard 
Red Hat is taken over by IBM. Yes, we agree. Red Hat is an IBM company, but we are not completely dissolved. We stand, Red Hat stands as Red Hat. Why I'm saying this is, you may have a confusion in your mind. If I get certified in Red Hat and that certification gets dissolved, what's my future? So don't worry, we are still a Red Hat company and we are continuing to be a Red Hat company for, for at least was what I know, at least for 10 more years. And in Red Hat, I had a division called as training and certification, which is internally named as global learning services. So I had the Red Hat India, as well as some of the SAC nations. So currently in India, we are a partner model. We always drive business through partners. So IPSR is one of our partner, one of our prime partner, as Dr. Mendes rightly mentioned. This was our second partner about 19 years back. So when we first launched Red Hat as a company in India, that's when um, one of the other partner plus this is the second partner, although they call themselves a second partner, the first partner is no more existing. So then they can still call it as an existing first partner. So we work like this with almost 100 plus partners. Now the number of partners are reducing. It is in the range of around 65 plus, not exactly 100. But we are also having presence in India. When I said SARC nations, Yes, we have presence in India, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and Maldives. And Red Hat Academy, because we understand the future citizen of India is the future for India. The skills of future citizen of India is what we have to focus on. So we work with almost 900 plus colleges across India, including Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka. And we also work with universities, larger universities, almost 80 plus universities. As you understand, Dr. Mendes already mentioned, we started with one certification called as RHC. And today we are having about 45 certifications covering almost like 60 different courses. And these courses are divided into four different verticals or portfolios, we call it as. Linux is always the primary platform for Red Hat to start with. However, we are having new products which are running the world today, starting from DevOps, it could be middleware or cloud computing. Cloud computing is playing a major role, including DevOps. These are the two buzzwords in the market you might be hearing. You might have heard about, okay, DevOps technology is very critical. Maybe you heard about something called as an Ansible, or you heard about OpenShift, what they do, how they function. Yes, this is the place from where you can learn all these things. Of course, everything works on Linux. You know, Linux is a Unix based operating system. This operating system is one of the most secure operating system because there are no bugs which can come and attack the operating system and dismantle the entire software. So that type of an advantage we carry in this particular operating system kernel. And how you can train, if you want to know more about it, yes, you can attend a classroom training. We can deliver on-site training for customers, predominantly not for colleges. We can also deliver a lot of virtual training, self-paced training, and Red Hat learning subscription. So you need not worry too much about this because your college, you are blessed to have a Red Hat partnered college, Red Hat Academy. So since you are in that college, you can easily get access to the material, HTML content. You can easily get access to the labs, which is you know, off late we have made. This is uh, available only from last two years. Because of the pandemic situation, we have made Cloud Labs available for students free of cost. And of course, there is a training and training also comes with a subsidized price. Certification also comes with certified, I mean, subsidized pricing. So this certification exam, you can take it in a classroom exam mode. Individual testing center, we are having something called as kiosk centers, or you can also work through remote exams. So you can appear, for exam from wherever you have, wherever you are sitting from your own computer. Only thing is you should have a good internet connectivity. <coughs> now you might have heard I'm telling Linux, Linux. What is this Linux? Linux is one of the fastest growing operating system started in 1991 by a gentleman called as Linus Torvalds. He's the person who created the main core operating system kernel or registry we call it as. So this was released freely available to download and use by anybody. Primarily, this is a computer operating system. 
So it's free and it's open source software. That's why it's called as FOSS, F-O-S-S, free and open source software. Runs almost on any platform, any hardware. There is no specifications. Like there are some companies we, who develop uh, software and operating systems specific to that hardware only. But in our case, it's not like that. And you might see, you might say, okay, Linux, I have not heard too much. I am very comfortable with the Windows operating system and things. Yes, most of the Linux operating systems are on the server side or on the embedded processors. For example, if you go to IRCTC, which is a, a railway ticket booking system, the entire system works on Linux platform. If you go to any of the LIC, earlier days, nowadays they are using Windows, but earlier days, they, their, their operating system looks something different. They don't look like a window with a screen and things like that. So they directly comes into the numbers and they enter the number, they type the name and then you, they can see a lot of report. So that is nothing but a Linux operating system. Okay, so there are so many distributions from Linux operating systems. You might have seen or heard about Fedora or OpenSUSE, CentOS, Ubuntu, Debian. <coughs> These are all some of the operating systems. But our operating system is an enterprise operating system. They work on the cloud environment most of the times or on the data center. They are not primarily used in the desktop versions. The Linux distribution on desktop centers could be open, open SUSE or Fedora or CentOS or Ubuntu and things like that. Power of RHEL. <laughs> Why is this RHEL so strong? Why should we move to the enterprise Linux? So we can develop we can create an environment and develop an environment. We can upgrade the operating system very, very quickly and very simplest way. We can consistently build on this. You can use the community environment and keep upgrading. Most of the government organizations, public security certification organizations, all sits on Red Hat Linux. Certified by many hardware and software vendors. Today, major companies you take which develops software they all rely on linux i'll show you more details <coughs> you can work in the cloud platforms as a guest or as a host so there's no much challenge in getting into a root user type of a situation it includes advanced automations as well as management tools so all the live kernel patches for example if there is a development if there is a bug there is a patch available so like this, these free patches are available in the, um, in, the, in, the in, in the internet. Anybody can download and use it to correct if there is some errors. So it's, a, it's having a fixed life, life cycle, but it can be extended life cycle also. It is not that, okay, now the operating system version has changed. I have to change. Not necessary. You can continue using the older version. No problem. But the enterprise level platform support is provided only through Red Hat. That's where people are inclined for example if there is a six sigma security or there is a l5 l5 level of uh, sla sla is service level agreements so these types of l5 means if there is a server down within one minute the server has to be up one minute that is called l5 for example if you if you're going to a bank uh, to an atm center you're drawing money and if there is a problem in the server it should get rectified like anything within within no time uh, so that's where these types of high level platform support what we provide is unique in the market these are some of the reasons why we why the market is moving towards enterprise linux subscriptions now you can ask me ramesh where is this linux i have not seen this linux where is it you can you can see the picture here in this picture the entire world is covered starting from an aeroplane landing or takeoff or even navigation through through navigation the ship navigation system the rocket launching system the space research systems or it could be all the telecom companies today how many subscribers they have every telecom su service supports are working on red hat technologies on linux platforms even today you might be using gps system you are tracking when the pizza person is going to deliver the to your house how many minutes he is going to deliver the food or it could be swiggy or zomato most of the banks where atms are implemented all the pharmaceutical industry where you you mean you need to distribute the tablets 
how many tablets should be manufactured if i manufacture more tablets and within the expiry date if they are not disposed or if they are not sold then it's a loss so all this mechanism even the electricity electricity uh, board for example when the electricity is supplied and there may be so many houses this much kilowatts of power is required in this area and that's the way the distribution should happen the entire things work on linux platform why because it is one of the most stable see this picture this is very very interesting picture the world runs smarter with red hat with linux so you can see the bottom picture left hand side there is a boy holding a globe in that in the bottom just below the boy the red color t-shirt of the boy google amazon even microsoft use linux to power their own cloud environments their own cloud services so this is the fun even the titanic picture was developed to show all the graphics on linux platform okay the train system the flight system or any navigation system across the world runs on linux platforms the android application that you are working with it could be the ios application everything runs on linux platform even for children and kids where a lot of cartoon work and channels are driven they are all run by linux operating system now you may you may get a fair idea where is linux okay i understood now okay this is how more than 200 million projects are working on linux okay what are the job roles so let's assume ramesh i'm an engineering student i'm a bca student i'm an mba student or i'm a bcom student i'm a mechanical student where can i get the job if i complete my linux certification yes jobs are plenty as dr mentioned uh, dr mendes mentioned in the past in his slide one of the slide even a mechanical engineer can get a job in the it sector provided he is a linux certified i'll tell you something surprising i am ramesh padmanabhan i am b mechanical bachelor of engineering in mechanical in 1994 today almost 29 years back today i am working in an it industry of course i may be a sales director nevertheless i was a technical specialist once upon a time during my early days of my career because last 15 years is where i am working in the sales role before that i was a technical specialist <laughs> even for a mechanical engineer there is scope so what are the job roles for for becoming a data scientist yes this is the foundation if you do red hat certified system administration you can go up to a data scientist iot solution specialist big data engineer software <coughs> excuse me a software architect blockchain engineer it could be a devops engineer cloud architect full stack developer artificial intelligence engineer product manager oh my god any type of a job you can always get through if you are having basics of linux just like for example uh, i am learning english from the from the uh, kg kindergarten why english english is a subject yes it's very important why because at the international level when you go the english is one of the common language most of the countries can recognize you are studying physics in english you are studying geography in english you are studying biology in english a doctor also knows english so english becomes the core platform for you to learn so that that similarly once you learn linux as a platform linux acts in your data scientist job in your big data engineering job software architect job blockchain engineering job so like this every job has a basic foundation in the form of linux of course if you just learn red hat it is not sufficient you should have so many other skills along with red hat i mean this is common because in your college uh, your faculty members your teachers uh, your training and placement officers they would be teaching you yes it's very very important for you to be smart intelligent and you should be self motivated at, at that particular point of time your communication skills should be good if you are capable of talking 
in the right manner just talking english is not sufficient but you should be able to talk it effectively ability to work under pressure ability to know how you can manage your time you should have the flexibility you should be able to take decisions you should be ready to work along with the team you should be responsible you should also have a leadership skill because if one leader is not available all the team members acts as leaders in my team for example i have about uh, 11 people who works directly and reports into me all the 11 people i call them as their own leaders because it's it's impossible for me to get into every partner like 100 partners and work with them so when you have these qualities along with that if you have a red hat certification wow <coughs> what kind of packages so i'm not saying that you get a 25 lakhs package you get a you get a 1 crore package and things like that no you get a basic package when you're joining as a job maybe are in the range of 4 lakhs 5 lakhs 8 lakhs so these are all not what i have typed these are the screenshots from google you can see that it's a screenshot from the google you can say you can type this matter and see yourself what are the packages that you get once you are red hat certified so when we are doing a global certification what is the benefit why should i get certified you can ask me this question ramesh why should i get certified what is the benefit of me getting certified yeah here are some of the top 10 so you get hired even during recession i'll tell you something surprising we have released today maybe i don't know if jio has released it today or maybe he will take one more day to release red hat themselves in the recession time when many multinational companies have declared recession and layoffs somebody says 12000 people i am laying off globally somebody says in india we have laying off 20000 people somebody says we are laying off Uh, 15000 of course our company is a small company globally we are only 23000 people having said that we have announced a hiring we are not laying off we are hiring people just imagine when the world is towards recession and laying off we are in the process of hiring maybe the number is small we are not hiring in hundreds and thousands maybe it's only 32 people we need in the remote location or it could be if preferred if they are from pune if not at least any part of the any part of india we still want to conduct interviews and then take people why and who we are taking it's not like one any college student no 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 they should be red hat certified because there is scarcity of requirement of people who are technology specialists so job retention during the earlier recessions also when multiple people lost job if you are red hat certified you are continuing you get good promotions you get opportunities to network with people you will always be current with the new technologies you have lot of partner programs dr mendes very clearly mentioned that there are some subsidized programs even though red hat is giving some subsidy further partners also give some subsidy especially ipsr it's doing it consistently in the in the south down of kerala from their locations renewals and retentions professional credibility when you say i am red hat certified wow somebody people will surely uh, like it and they say wow you are red hat certified okay i am microsoft certified also i am aws certified yes but i am also red hat certified wow so that's the feeling that's the professional credibility of course you can also keep a personal loan you are, you are listening to me for next another 20 minutes or so so you may have a person okay i heard ramesh now it is my turn <coughs> to give it to the open source community let me learn you can take a personal goal develop yourself but the corporate world industry it could be mnc they are recognizing professionally for people who are trained and certified which sector ramesh now which sector will i get job which all the sectors where i am having chances to get a job <coughs> i already explained to you it's vast internet service providers like netflix amazon godaddy yes there are job opportunities available there if you know linux financial organization like hdfc bank sbi icici bank yes there are because they are purchasing red hat software they depend and believe on red hat software without red hat software they cannot sustain companies like lic tata aig any insurance company yes healthcare companies i i said like pharmaceutical company it could be like a apollo or a fortis or a biocon yes biocon you might have known biocon as a company because that was one of the company which generated um, vaccine during the covid 
any airlines company they 100% depend on red eye technologies like indigo or it could be spicejet and things like that flipkart e-commerce companies like flipkart facebook amazon or it could be oil and gas like ntpc ongc they all rely on red eye technologies any telecommunication company in india or across the world airtel vodafone or bsnl <coughs> even the manufacturers like nokia the telecom telecom manufacturers transport companies like ola uber online food delivery company like zomato uber government departments and services including aadhar irctc i mentioned already railtel and things like that space research organization including nasa and isro military and defense you go to uh, air force navy or uh, the army every uh, body works on the red hat technologies information technology companies list i cannot i cannot even add here it's huge list huge list sas pass iaas so these are all some of the top companies as a service they are, they are all called as as a sir internet as a service software as a service product as a, i mean you can you can get into any of the companies they work on this maybe google amazon and things like that even the product development companies like tally adp microsoft everybody works so you can choose the sector if you are interested i want to get into airlines company i want to get in oil and gas i am interested in transport industry yes you have opportunities it is not like a silo we are working on a single tech technology as i already told the example it is not necessary that you should be a computer science graduate to get into an it job anybody polytechnic student iti student ba bcom bsc mba i have one of my friend he was my student once upon a time today he is working in ibm his package is around 75 lakhs per annum 75 lakhs per annum package just about 18 years back he was my student he is diploma in welding technology diploma in welding technology he works for ibm today and he is a software storage specialist like this hundreds and thousands and millions of examples i can give you need not have to be a <laughs> specialist in btech or mtech or or bsc computer science no not necessary anybody who wish into entering into an it job your technical skills and global certifications matter a lot how did i get into you know, it industry i did a lot of training and certification learned it because i was a mechanical engineer i dedicatedly spent about 6 months joined some company like uh, ipsr at that time ipsr I, i was from bangalore so i was not knowing about ipsr so i joined a company called aptech which was having a division in the hardware and software technologies called as asset international i joined there spent about 6 months learned and they themselves observed me <clears throat> so linux skills is very much in demand employees or i mean employers are looking at open source as a talent and every hiring manager 89% of the hiring manager says it's very difficult for me to get an open source technology talent once you are certified it's very easy <coughs> and when you are an engineer or you are you are studying in a engineering college or you are doing a ba or bcom or bsc and things like that there is something called as a value add what is value add let's assume you are working in a company example one you are working in a company you get salary take example two you get salary the same salary as what you are getting in company one but you get a transport as well as a snacks in your company every day snacks every day every day transport wow this is value add salary is same plus transport plus snacks oh this is value add similar not only that company 3 you are getting same salary transport daily transport snacks they also give you some incentives additional incentives like a birthday incentive or like a travel incentive or when you when you are traveling they give you a flight ticket as an additional benefit so these are all some of the value adds a company can provide so obviously when you are given a choice you want to work in company 1 company 2 or company 3 obviously everybody will select company 3 
right you agree with me absolutely same way when you are choosing your career you are completed your degree maybe 65 percent you scored in your engineering or you are nowadays i think it's a rating of 10 you may be 6.5 or 7 or 7.5 etc when the it recruiter the hr manager comes to your college they also look at value add like how i told example one two three same way here also if somebody is 60 percent in his career throughout the four years of his engineering or his bcom or mcom or whatever but he's having three evaluated certificates from the industry not necessarily red hat i'm talking about i'm talking about red hat because i'm an employee of red hat i'm paid to do that irrespective of it even if you are having any such type of a certification the recruiter wants that person with 60 percent plus three certifications compared to a 68 percent but no industry exposure obviously they will not prefer them so once you have a red hat certification along with your career you can grow faster job opportunities you can choose once upon a time you i'll tell you one example in my life when i was doing my engineering i just completed my engineering there was no campus recruitment during those days i'm talking about 1994 i complete my engineering then now i have to apply there was one company called as kirloskar very close to my house kirloskar company i felt very happy because they are hiring engineers wow i felt so happy i thought okay let me understand this was announced in the newspaper they are going to take 500 positions pressures 500 wow super i felt very happy then i i also want to apply so i took the paper cutting i went to that place and i took the application form application form at that time was five rupees five rupees application form so in that application form i filled i i submitted then i got a letter from the company telling that okay you are selected for writing a written test followed by a uh, couple of interviews and then if you are selected in all the three places you will be in job in kirloskar very happy i got the letter also i got the selection letter wow now i have to go for writing the entrance test when i went to for writing the entrance test i saw there were 10000 people 500 job opening 10000 people i lost it there there itself when i saw the crowd i lost it out of 10000 will i be one of the 500 i'm not sure the chances of me getting the job out of 10000 people is 5% 95% chances I didn't have a job. 5% chances I may get into. There itself I lost. Today, what is today? My daughter is studying engineering. She is in the final year. She is in the eighth semester now. She is already having three jobs in hand. She has to choose which one should I join. She attended interview in company one. She also attended in company two. She also attended in company three. So now she is thinking. Um, because my friends are there in that company um, dad i'm getting a little lesser salary should i go there or should i join this company she's she's having choice that is the world the world has changed it's not like olden days but even in that case if the choice if you are having this value added certification obviously the chances of getting into a job is very very high and how do how do i get there you want to work in whatever technologies that i mentioned in the past like machine learning or it could be system administration solution architect security specialist or data scientist and things like that the entrance the entry point is red hat certification if you have red hat certification you can slowly get into any of those areas as per the track but the entry point you can see the arch rhcsa red hat and i mean certified system administration that course plays a major role. Now, <clears throat> I told you one point. We did not have campus recruitments during my periods. When I was uh, work, I mean, studying in the college, we didn't have a campus recruitment. Even Dr. Mendes, when he did his engineering or whichever courses he did, I don't think so. He had a campus recruitment type of an offer. But today you are blessed. One, because you are having partnership with certain partners like IPSR. Secondly, your college is working in the industry where they have industry connect. 
there is a bridge that is created between the academic versus the industry requirement that bridge is available with you we didn't have this bridge you are blessed so <coughs> red hat academy red hat academy is an association between red hat and the college to bridge the gap between what we are learning in education industry versus what is the actual industry there is a lot of difference i'll tell you one more example uh, during my engineering i was although i was a mechanical engineer i was very keen and interested going towards computer science and i was having a subject called as control control less i mean control <clears throat> controls that's a engineering subject during mechanical and that talks about computers i was very interested and there they taught me one one programming language called as photon 4 Oh, photon four subject means very interesting for me because it's computer science, and secondly, control also. So I scored almost eighty six percent in control, and photon four programming lab I scored of almost like ninety five. Wow, I felt very happy. Wherever I go to an interview after completing my engineering, I went to at least two three IT companies during that time. I went to interview. I told I know photon four, sir. You ask me any program, I can draft it, I can write it, I can give you the solution. It will okay, okay. Can you tell me what is Java? Can you tell me what is Java? I mean, uh, do you know what is JBoss? Do you know what is J2EE? <clears throat> I don't know, sir. That was not there in a the subject in my college. So I know Fortran four. So one one of the interviewer told me, I mean, Fortran four was used 20 years back. Now that is outdated. So what you have to <clears throat> learn is, do you know Java? Do you know Java scripts? so that is called as a gap what we learn it is not that that is not important that's very important today if i am successful in my career it is purely because what i learned in my engineering that may be a calculus or integration what you learn in your first year second year three mathematics papers are we going to use calculus and integration in our daily life i don't think so but that's how you build your iq you build your capability if you are able to solve that type of problem the problems that you face in your real time is mere it's very very small <coughs> so it's important that you learn from your education but it's also important you important that you will be at par with industry so so much of syllabus you cannot learn in your engineering college that's where we come into picture red hat academy comes into the picture we bridge the gap between what is taught in the industry i mean what is required in the industry versus what is taught in the college so once you become um, a student of red hat academy through your college you get 50% discount on all the exams and if some faculty members wants to become they'll get 75% discount you get a career opportunity as i told we will reach out to those colleges which are rha with us for getting any job opportunity our 32 requirement will go to those co colleges alone those who are having red hat certified administrators not to those colleges which are not even tied up with us we give a lot of global certification and expert guidelines we conduct exams at your premises or it could be remote or kiosk but at your premises will always be helpful we give html content which is free as well as cloud lab which is free discounted exams for students and you can also post we are having something called as talent network red hat talent network So once you become a RHA student, we will allow you during your final year to post your cert. I mean, post your curriculum. I mean, uh, uh, your curriculum vitae or your um, uh, CV in our website. Some of the IT companies like Accenture or it could be uh, TCS. They also are members of that talent network group. so they can come and pick up the students directly apart from red hat giving you an opportunity to get a chance to get a job in red hat they also can give you so these are all some of the benefits that we are passing on so there are multiple courses although we are having 60 courses and 45 certifications available but it's no everything is not available at the college level because there are so many uh, courses and so much of technology needs a lot of prerequisite we only offer these courses in the left hand side administration which is called as system administration level 1 level 2 level 
or it could be cloud computing like OpenStack administration level one, introduction to OpenShift applications and introduction to containers, Kubernetes and Red Hat OpenShift. And also if you are interested in the development area, middleware development area, yes, we have uh, one course called as Red Hat, Red Hat application development programming in Java enterprise edition. You can get certified, you will get a certification. Most of these trainings, each of these courses are about 32 to 40 hours. And our partners delivers it in a little more longer duration to make the student comfortable. And these all these courses are 50% theory and 50% practicals. And our exams are specialized exams. They are not MCQ exams. We don't believe in MCQ. You know what is MCQ, right? MCQ means multiple choice questions. So we don't believe in multiple choice questions. We always believe in the practical exam. Our exams are performance based exams. They are practical exams. Student has to come dirty his hands by working on the system, creating a, a user account, for example, or uh, creating a virtual machine, deploying an application. Everything he has to do and show it in front of us. Only then we certify. We don't outsource our certification to Prometric Center or it could be a third party VUE Center. No, no, no. Red Hat conducts the exam by themselves in three modes classroom exam kiosk exam remote exam only these three we don't outsource it to any of the prometric examination centers so this is the red hat academy portal anybody wants to register there is something called as learning um, uh, le um, i mean uh, we have something called as a learning portal where you can register and then you can start getting informations about what's happening in so it's called as learning community sorry Red Hat Learning Community, RHLC. So, uh, Sijin, as I committed, I told about 40, 45 minutes. I think I'm very close to 43 minutes. Yes, Ramesh, you can still go on. Yeah, I hope uh, I kept everybody engaged. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I can have a feedback. And anybody is having any questions, you can type it in the chat box and I'll be trying to answer or my colleague is also ready to answer my colleagues are there both Savita and Gio they can also answer you can take up any questions for me Sijin okay um, you can um, uh, post the questions in the Q&A section and we will answer it in this session there's one question so when will the next recruitment in Red Hat for freshers with Red Hat certification if you are getting certified by June 2023 now is the opportunity we have opportunity secondly every six months once we have a requirement for about 30 40 40 50 uh, last uh, december we had a requirement for about 112 people where about 100 people were uh, recruited from our colleges and ipsr also got some uh, uh, some uh, people uh, i mean recognized and recruited in red hat maybe i think it was around four or five from ipsr set of colleges so similarly we will have every six months last december we recruited we are recruiting in june where you can join from july current one so similarly again in december we will have an opportunity where you can join in january again so every six months once we are getting this opportunity also, everybody, I've post, posted the feedback form in the chat box. If, if you uh, uh, feel like, uh, please do leave a feed, feedback in the feedback form. Yeah, Sumit Kumar asks, how can I join this certification? Please tell me briefly. Uh, so although Sijin has answered it, you can please contact IPSR since they are the Red Hat partners in that region. You can contact them www.ipsr.org slash contact hyphen us dot html. So if you go to ipsr.org, there you can find contact us. You can send a mail or you can pick up the phone and call them. They will guide you. So yes. Yeah. We do also have a quiz after this, so don't leave till we you attend that quiz. Yeah, and there are some small attractive goodies or or yeah. Red Hat merchandise uh, for the top five winners of the quiz. The quiz is related to whatever I spoke. 
So if you are focused and heard me out, I think you should be able to answer everything. So here in the quiz, I think my colleague Savita will explain more. It is not only the answer, how quickly you answer. Both of them will count. Uh, so it's very important. Maybe we can hand it over to Savita for running the quiz. Yeah, uh, I think the runner will be Savita. Uh, Sandra, I think you can take it up from here now. Thank you. Thank you, Sitchin. I'm there around. Any more questions I can answer in the last also. But okay, thank you okay. so much for patiently listening to me, all of you. Thank you, Ramesh. Thank you for the wonderful session. Thank you for that very informative session. Sandra, over to you. you can. Thank you. Thank you, Sitchin. I just noticed that there's a question in the chat. Dr. Yeah. R. Uday Kumar, who is the Dean of Computer Science, Kalinga University, is asking, may I get the details for the tie-ups with university? Would you like to take that up? I can still answer. So, yes, it is the same procedure, uh, uh, Dr. Uday Kumar. Same procedure as what we have told to the students. You can approach our partner, Dr. Sujit, sorry. Yeah, you can contact us, uh, contact IPSR itself, contact us uh, through that uh, um, contact us page and we will get back to you. The appropriate person will contact you regarding it. Okay. Fantastic. So I can see some good feedback also. Uh, Sujit is mentioning that uh, the session was uh, enlightening and we were uh, we have got an idea regarding career opportunities as well as inspiration of pursuing Red Hat certification for hands-on experience on Linux. Thank you, thank you so much, sir, thank you. Yeah, over to you, Savita, sorry. <laughs> That's fine, sir, thank you so much. Thank you, Sujin, for the introduction. Okay, uh, Ramesh has already spoken about how the quiz is going to be conducted. So all of you who are on the platform right now, I want you all to open a new tab on your respective screens. If you all are, have logged in from a laptop, then open a new screen. And if you have logged in from your phones, open a new tab. I'll be sharing my screen now and you will be able to see the code or the... Is my screen visible? Can someone confirm to me? Yes, your screen is visible. Okay. Yes, now I want all of you to go to www.menti.com. Menti is M E N T I dot com. Students, faculty members, the deans of the respective colleges who have joined, please participate. It's always the more the merrier, right? So log in there and then it will prompt you for a code. The code will be 56320034. I repeat, the code is 56320034. I have put the link also in the chat. If you all want to click on the link and join. So the code is 56320034. Sajin, while we have people joining to the quiz, if, if in case you want to propose the vote of thanks, then that would be great. Because the people will need some time to log into the system. Yeah, fine. I'll do that because I needed to address something else as well. Uh, yeah, everyone, sure. don't forget to fill the feedback form, and and all the registered participants will rec get the recorded video of this session along with a participation certificate. The details of this will be sent to your email through which you registered for this event. Okay, so that should happen by. Um, uh, probably by the end of this week or by next week. Okay, so make sure that you check your emails. Also check your spam in case if it has dropped in there. So don't forget to um, log in to the LMS and get the details of how to download the certificate. Anyway, thank you all for attending this session. It was a wonderful session. We had uh, um, about 1,500 registrants for this uh, event and um, we had close to um, 350 participants for this. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for this. Um, thank you for taking your time and attending this session. Hope you all enjoyed it and it was very informative to you. Anyway, enjoy the quiz as well and win prize. Okay, great. Um, yeah.
Yeah, how many have we got now? 136 and the number is continuously increasing. So we probably can give it a couple of seconds. Yeah. yeah. Since we have about 300 people on the platform right away, probably by the time we hit the number of 150, we can start off with the quiz. Like Ramesh mentioned during his presentation, this quiz is completely related to what he spoke for the last 45 minutes. Point number one. Point number two, it is also the faster you answer, the more points you gather. And the top five people are going to get goodies from Red Hat. So I think, yeah, I have about 160 people waiting for the quiz to start. So here we go. OK. Oh, there are a lot of people. Next. Red Hat comprises of. OK, what does Red Hat comprise of? The number of employees, the number of countries in which we are present, and the number of offices. Please have a look. Because if I read out, the number answers are too long. The answers will be visible to you on your screen. Last few seconds. Yes, we are a big company, 23,000 employees, present in 36 countries, and have 90 offices. Oh, we have a problem here. All right. So folks, I think the software prompted you all to uh, enter a nickname. Uh, that's fine. I would want you all to enter your real names, else IPSR will not be able to uh, recognize the top five. So go ahead and <laughs> put in your real names now. Moving over to the second question. Which of the below statements is true for Red Hat as an organization? Basically, what type of company are we? Induction, it's a Red Hat enterprise, is, a, is, is an enterprise company, I'm sorry. Is a community to enterprise company, enterprise to community. Red Hat is a pure Linux company. OK, I have about 160 answers. Two seconds left. OK. Yes, majority of you got it right. We are a community to enterprise company. All right, I can see some names that have changed. But some names still remain the same. Venture and Ribbit Skids, I don't think it's your real names. Please change your names, else you will lose your goodies to the next ones. Moving over to the next question, question three. IT jobs are for BSc and BE computer science, polytechnic students from any branch for graduates and engineers from any st system stream, sorry, all of the above. Ramesh gave a very valid and a very strong example. Yes, anyone can get into an IT job. OK, now we again have few names and few nicknames. Skids, please put your real name, followed by Gayatri Sneha. And I think Snuggles also is not your real name. Moving over to the next question. The quicker you answer, the more points. Learning services offers certification exam in which all methods mentioned below. The four on options have jumbled up answers. So read carefully and then select your answer. This was one of the last points that Ramesh covered during his presentation. Last few seconds. All right. Classroom exam, kiosk, and remote exams. We do not have Prometric Center exams. 
Okay. Has everybody changed their names? Not yet. Nuggles, Hustler, Wolfmaster. Sounds interesting. Please change your names. Moving over to the next question. Red Hat Academy or RHA is an association between Red Hat and college to bridge the gap between education and industry. This is a statement. Is this true or is it false? It's very simple, very straightforward. I probably should have given less time for this answer. Last few seconds. Okay, everyone has voted. Of course it is true. RHA is Red Hat's venture to bridge the gap between education and industry. All right, does the leaderboard change? No, or very little actually. Nuggles, please, this is your chance to change your name. Wolfmaster also. Moving over to the sixth question. Here it comes. Which of the below is not a popular Linux distribution? Your options being OpenSUSE, Ubuntu, CentOS, OpenBSD. Which of the below is not a popular Linux distribution? Okay, last few seconds left. OpenBSD is not a Linux distribution. The other three of them are. Okay, let us look at the leaderboard. Nuggles and Wolfmaster, please change your names. Seventh question, for others to buck up and get more points, what is FOSS? F-O-S-S, -S, what does it stand for? This has to be a quick one because you just have 15 seconds. And it's very simple. Free and open source software is FOSS. Yes, majority of you got it right. All right. I think Snuggles has finally changed his name. It's GB. Wolfmaster, you need to change your name. Okay, we have the top five. In the five, we have Boti. Please change your name as well. Eighth question, last two questions left for people to buck up. Red Hat certification exams has multiple choice questions. True or false? This has to be a quick one. Yes or no? My God, almost equal votes. No, Red Hat certification exams do not have multiple choice questions. They are performance based exams. All right. Does the leaderboard change? Not at all. The top five are holding on to the positions. Let's move over to the ninth question. People who have not changed your nicknames, please do it now, else you lose your goodie. RHCSA stands for. This is your gateway to enter into the IT industry is what Ramesh mentioned, right? So which one of this is the actual definition of RHCSA? Quick one, last few seconds left. And the people with the wrong nicknames, please change your names. 
Red Hat Certified System Administrator is the correct answer. Okay, now we have names and not nicknames. Jubi, Pratiba, Gayatri, Rukmini, Boti, you will have to again change your name. Good. The last chance to gather maximum points. The last question. If a student achieves Linux certification, he can pursue career opportunity as a big data engineer, blockchain engineer, DevOps engineer, any of the above. Which is the correct answer? Quick, quick, quick. More points? Quick answer. Last few seconds and we will have the leaderboard showing us the winners. Three, two, one. Yes, you can become a big data engineer, blockchain engineer, DevOps engineer, any of it with your Linux certification. Now let us see who the top five winners are or top five scorers are. It's Jibi, Pratiba, Gayatri, Rukmini. We still have Boti, but I think Gokul is what we will go ahead with. Congratulations to the top five winners. Thank you so much for participating. I hope you all enjoyed the quiz as much as I did in presenting it for you. Have a good evening and over to Sijin. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for attending that quiz. Do you have any further questions? We have a few minutes that we could take the uh, uh, questions from you. Please note that all registered participants will receive the recorded video of this session along with the participation certificate. The details will be sent to your email through which you registered for this event. Please don't forget to fill the feedback form. Thank you all. Thank you again for attending this session.